Hi, my name is Ross Francis with Dark Angel Medical. I'm our chief instructor. Our company is all about getting medical equipment out to everybody out there. We want people to have a med kit, know how to use it, and carry it. If everybody carried one of these kits, everyone could save a life. This is our, our, our cooling vest for cops. It's called the Max Roy vest. At 221B Tactical, we're, we're all about taking care of cops. They put their lives on the line every day for us. So this helps keep them more comfortable, drier, just a better frame of mind. We're at the, uh, we'll be also having this at the NRA show in Dallas in a couple of months. So, uh, you know, it's been well received by cops everywhere. Thank you very much. All right. So we're here with John at FLIR Systems, and this is just another great example of how uh, innovation is coming out that is helping police be more powerful, more effective, and keep people safer. John, tell me about this, this drone that you've got here. It's amazing. Very quickly, we have what's called the Black Hornet, and it's a small nano UAV. It's about 18 grams, which is equivalent to about four sheets of paper. It's equipped with both day cameras and thermal cameras, which is really what FLIR's forte is, is to see at night. Right. So it gives the capability to fly undetected at about 15 meters above a target to be able to help someone see. I mean, for instance, in a canine chase, right. in a uh, pursuit, if you're looking for a lost person. So let me, let me ask yeah. you a question. Sure. There was a shooting here in Las Vegas a, a few months ago. If they had had something like this, they could have, number one, seen the heat signature of that guy up there, and number two, flown up there and probably flown right in the room. If they absolutely, to. absolutely. It'll go up to 1.6 kilometers or one mile away, and it'll dwell on time for 25 minutes. So absolutely, this is something that you can respond to. I mean, you can put it in the air in about 30 seconds. Yeah, so this is yeah. just a way to make people safer, absolutely. and you guys are doing some great work out there. Well, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you, sir. Chuck, amazing products there. You know, I wonder, that little tiny drone, it looked like a helicopter. What does it do? I mean, the wind has got to affect mm -hmm. something like that. If it's real windy, can it still fly? Yeah, it actually can. That thing uh, will fly in winds up to 25 kilometers per hour, which is the same, uh, basically, uh, the same as the helicopter that I used to fly, the actual helicopter, you know, the, the OH-58. And uh, that that's just mind-boggling to me. But, uh, I mean, this thing is the size of a stick of butter and weighs as much as four sheets of paper. And you can throw it up in the air and have it, you know, go and surveil and take it, you know, like I say, it could have gone right up there uh, to that hotel where that shooter was and could have given the police a very good sense of what was happening inside that room so that they could have respond, re responded faster. The, I, I really want one of those things. I'm trying to get, uh, get NRA to buy me one. The only problem is they're about 40000 bucks. <laughs> $40,000 for that little drone that looks like really a sharper image helicopter. Yeah, right. Well, it's actually two two drones come in the package and uh, they're they're kind of disposable. I mean, if you have if you had to, but you certainly wouldn't want to at that cost. But uh, it certainly is not a toy. There's no question about it. It's got several cameras, one of which is a FLIR camera, the a FLIR the, that uh, forward looking infrared radar used to take you know it used to be a camera the size of your head and now it's it's inside that little that little drone it's just mind-boggling what they've been able to do yeah